This is James Duval coming to you live with Sofa King Cool. Tune in. Good. How you doing today, brother? Good, good. It's been really busy here at the Comic Con today. Yeah, very excited to be here. I mean, look at all of these people. Yeah. And we've got some really big bona fide stars here, so. Well, you're a big star yourself, man. Like, <laughs> 50 seconds ago, and of course, you were a Donnie Jack fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm flattered, man. Thank you. Yeah. I understand you got a lot of projects going on, is that right? Yeah, quite a few, actually. Um, I can't say the title yet, but there is a show coming next year on Stars that I'm doing a, a TV series. So I'm doing four episodes next month. Um, what I can say is I just had another movie called uh, Garlic and Gunpowder uh, come out on Amazon.com or Pri Amazon Prime. You can watch that. It's about uh, these two New York hitmen where stupidity knows us, no bounds. So it's definitely worth checking out if you like to watch bumbling idiots. I'm good at being an idiot. <laughs> Now, how, do you, how do you handle keeping so busy? I mean, I look at your page and I see there's so many movies that you've done and so many more coming out. I'll, you know, thank you. I'm, I'm just really fortunate. You know, I go, you know, I get the job and I put everything I have into the character, into the movie, and into the work. But the moment that finishes, I forget it and I just move on to the next one. So what you got to do because you never know when they're going to come out or what's going to happen. Or if it's good. Yeah, I've done movies that I felt really good about it and it came out I was like eee. and then there's movies I thought that movie's gonna suck and it came out and I that was amazing right. so sometimes it's really you can't always tell you just can't yeah for sure now one of your most famous characters of course was the character from Donnie Jericho and people want to see you in the costume sometimes or? they do in fact uh, for anybody visiting this con this weekend I'll be wearing the costume this afternoon Oh, for the photos, right? I will, yes, today and tomorrow. That's awesome, man. Little tiny window. We call it the Frank window. Well, it's got to be so hard with something like this. I mean, you got to do your Q&As, you got to be meeting the guests, you got to, you know, keep yourself going for whatever else you have going on. So it's such a small window of time. It's got to be hard to balance everything like that. It, it, it can be if you, if I if I think about it it could be it could be a little bit overwhelming so I mean it, it's it's it would almost sound strange but I literally like I just take everything one step at a time one day at a time you know it's the same thing with approaching like when I get a part and I'm doing a character in a movie you know some days are easier than other days and some dialogues a little bit more difficult than other dialogues so you know I just kind of take it as it comes now with these cons man that's got to be amazing that your fans come up to you and say this movie meant so much to me it, it's it's really amazing actually because like i said when i finish a movie i kind of don't think about it you know i just move on to the next job or wherever i'm i try to be present in other words like wherever i'm at that's where i need to be right so whenever you know I mean, I'll be honest, when I came in and put the pictures out, I wasn't really sure if anyone was going to recognize me, and that's okay, I'm like, I'm completely prepared for that. So then for me, I think any time that someone comes up and they know the movie and they like my work, that makes me not just happy, makes me really happy. Right. Yeah, really, it's like, it makes my day. <laughs> now when people come up, I, I, I see all these wonderful photos and stuff, I mean, if somebody come up with anything like a prop or something, like, I can't believe you have that. Yeah, there's a few times I've had people come up with pictures that I've, it's not happened many times, but they have, I couldn't tell you where the photos are from. Right. Who took it, what angle that was from, how they got it from that production. But somehow they got, like, someone brought me a Donnie Darko photo a couple years ago. I've still never seen it since then, or before. I don't know how he got it, right. where he got it from, but this gentleman had the rarest Donnie Darko photo I've ever seen. That's cool, man. Yeah. Shows you that they're super fans, and they want them yeah. to go and to get that. And that's flattering, too, because you don't really think about that. You know, I don't really think about that either. Yeah, um, not so much the fans' reaction. And, and certainly times when, I think when Donnie Darko came out, for instance, we thought more people would watch it than did. I think we had a complete theatrical run after three weeks of, like, half a not even half a million dollars. Right, right. Excuse me, so... 
no one had seen the movie, and I thought, well, that's not that bad. I, I liked it. I didn't think it was that bad. Right. You know, so you kind of just resolve yourself to, again, like you don't, you can't, it's hard to predict how people are going to react, if the movie's good or if the movie's bad based on your experiences all the time. So you, it's challenging, but it's like, Part of being in the moment is just like finishing these things up and again and just going, gotta let it go, gotta let it go, gotta let it go. It's my baby, I gotta let, it, I gotta let my baby go out into the world. <laughs> now, I mean, something like that where it became a cult classic later, I mean, that's gotta be like rewarding in itself, right? I think that's, for me, honestly, more rewarding than getting awards or being recognized by whatever, the Academy or film festivals, like, all that's actually irrelevant to me in the sense that when you have people who've gone and shared this movie and the, part of the reason that it's successful is because someone just went to their friend with nothing more than simply, I don't know what this is about, but I loved it and you need to watch this. And that's literally how the life of that movie came about. And I can't think of, you know, I, something that I think is like honestly any cooler than that. Yeah. Not because they saw it in magazines, not because studios made these amazing trailers that made you want to go see it. They didn't know anything but other than someone saying, I don't know what this is, but you gotta watch it. Right. And so that gives me hope also for movies and <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Now, if people want to follow up, they want to know more about your projects. They, do, you, do you send these out to people too, or do you just do the exclusive at the cons? I just do the exclusive at the cons. I mean, I'm open to sending them to people if they contact me, but I mean, part of it is like, because I'm usually just working. Right, right, right. You know, so if I'm working in movies, it's like I'm just not reachable. So if people want to follow up, they want to know about you. Do you have a Facebook page? Or? Um, I don't have a Facebook. I got off Facebook literally back in 2013. Let's just say I, I got engaged engaged and didn't get married <laughs> and I was like yeah that, no I don't need to be on Facebook anymore back in my day when you broke up with someone you only saw them if you ran into them right, you didn't right. see pictures popping up in your feed yeah. so I was like yeah I can't do that so I got off of Facebook but I've been on Instagram before Facebook bottom when it was originally just started out and I'm still on there because I love the idea and the fact that it's just pictures yeah, for sure. nothing more so I'm, I am on Instagram and I'm on Twitter okay. under Real James Duval, and that's uh, Duval D V A L with one L. Perfect. All right, man. It was great talking to you. I oh, look brother. forward to your new projects. I can't wait to see those shows coming out on Amazon and Amazon and Netflix. Amazon and Netflix. Perfect. And Showtime. And Showtime. All right, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother.